Now, let's see how we can fetch our data from database using Query Builder. So we have already added this data. Now we want to fetch it. So let's create a new method inside our public, sorry, inside our students controller. Let's create this method and give it a name of date data. Then inside here, we will create a new variable. You can name it anything you want. So in here, I will call it items. Then I will set it to db colon colon table and my table name, which is students. Then I will say gate. So this will fetch all my data inside the students table. Now let's return this. So we will say return dollar sign items and let's create a new route for this also so we can access it from our browser so let's type it out colon colon gate gate data and this is also um, going inside my students controller then the method name now let's copy this from here and add it inside our browser so let's add it here enter now as you guys can see i got all my four records so one two three four these four records that are available inside my database another thing that i can do in here i can limit the number of records that i want i can let's type limit and for example i only want two records so i will just type to that now if i go and refresh i will only get two records in here similarly in the state of uh, for example if i want only a single record with a weird condition or any first record that i want then i do i will not use limit i will just in the state of gate i will just type first so now if i go refresh now I only get one record, the first record that is available in my database. So right now, as you guys can see, the ID is 202. If I open here, my first record is also 202. Another thing that I want to mention in this part is our conditions, how we can type our conditions. We, so if I go here, let's uh, I want for example, I want to fetch the ID number 204. In here, I can type in my project. In here, I will say where ID is equal to 204. Now, let's uh, go. Let's refresh. Now, I got my ID number 204 record. In here, I can add more conditions. So first of all, let's change the first to gig. So I can get as many records as I can. So if I want to fetch all the records to where the IDs are greater than 204, in that case, I can type same thing that we wrote in our raw SQL. In here, we can also write. So let's add one more comma in the middle. We just say, for example, if we want same id you can type equal now i got one record but if i want all the records where the id is greater than 204 i will just change it to greater sign refresh okay we have only one record greater than 204 which is 205 now let's add an equal sign also now let's go back refresh now I got both of the records, 204 and 205. You can write multiple weird conditions as well. For example, let's delete, make it 203. Now, if I want to fetch all the records where the ID is 203 and where the ID is 24, I can also type or where and I can type my 204 here also. So let's go now as you guys can see i got my 203 and 204 records so if i 
Come here, both of these conditions are made 203 and 204. So this is how we can write our conditions inside our query builder. One thing uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning, so let's change this to first. Let's now when I type first, be now when I write first. In the browser, if you guys notice, it will give me a single object, which is that record. But if I type here, gate, and refresh, the type of my data will change from object to array. So it's right now, it's an array with four items inside it. So if I, even if I type here, where, ID is equal to 203. Now, this will bring one item, but it will bring it as an array inside an array. So, this is as you guys can see, it starts with an array. But if I change this to first, this will bring only the object, not an array. Another thing that if you want to select a specific column, you can do that as well. So, in here, if I type dash select then i have uh, have to specify the column name so for example i only want the id and the name uh, then let's save this let's go back let's refresh now i got only name and id or if i i only want the name i can do that as well so let's save let's go back refresh I got the only name, but if you want to select all the columns, you don't need to specify any column name, just without the select, refresh the page. Now I got all my columns in here.